In this video tutorial, we're going to conclude our discussion of the Windows Registry. This was a three-part discussion and three modules that we put together on the Site4 site. The first module discussed what the Windows Registry is. Um, the second module discussed what, um, how you can find the, the registry hives and how to extract them, whether from a live system or a dead image. And this module is going to discuss actual forensic analysis of the registry, such as what kind of data you can find in the registry, um, and how you can use the tool RegRipper to actually extract important contents of the registry. So the first question we can ask is, what are you looking for? Um, and the answer here is really, there's no real good answer because it'll depend on your investigation. So say you're running a forensics investigation and you want to, um, and you want to sort of correlate maybe a user to a document, you can look at the registry to determine if that's a user on the machine, whether he was logged in at a time when this file was accessed or anything like that. Um, so depending on your investigation, you'll have to decide what you're looking for. And obviously the registry contains all sorts of information. So if you can decide what you're looking for, there's a good chance you'll be able to extract data from the registry that will help to prove your case or correlate your data. Um, so now, assuming you know what you're looking for, how do you pull it out of the registry? So that's where this tool RegRipper comes in. And what RegRipper is, is basically a very simple, free, easy to use tool, comes in both a command line and a GUI version. And really RegRipper itself, all it does is run plugins. So people have written plugins for RegRipper. And what it does is you say to RegRipper, run this plugin. And it'll run that plugin against, um, against a registry hive. So basically you'll say, here's my hive that I'm looking at. And whether that's a system hive or a software hive, you know, depending on what it is or the user hive. Um, you'll say to RegRipper, here's my hive. Here's the plugin I'm going to run and pull, it, pull the data out. And RegRipper doesn't just, well, these plugins or so RegRipper using these plugins doesn't just extract the data, but in a lot of cases it will actually, you know, format it into a more human readable, into a more human readable thing. So you can actually see it as opposed to just getting binary data if that's what the registry contents were written as. Um, so what we're going to do first is I'll discuss RegRipper a little bit here uh, in that. So first of all, if you want to download RegRipper and download the plugins, they're all all the links are in the PowerPoint slides. But so I've gone ahead and downloaded it. And we're going to talk about some important things here. First of all, RIP and RR, these are the actual executables. RIP is the command line version. RR is going to be the, the actual GUI version of it. And then, like I said, um, RegRipper is a bunch of plugins, runs a bunch of plugins. And here you can see all the plugins that are distributed with RegRipper, or you can download them separately. But these are the ones that are put together for RegRipper. Um, and there's just like a whole list of them here. And for example, you know, if say here, log on username, um, this is a, this is a plugin that will run against the NT user file. That's that hive, the user one. Um, and it will extract the user's logon name. And if you wanted just a little more information on what these plugins look for, you know, they're just basically Perl scripts. Um, and we can look at them quickly and pretty much short Perl script. So really, um, you can write your own plugins. You can even base it off the ones that are already here since there's so many of them. Uh, write your own plugins and then RegRipper will run those as well. Um, and you can see there's tons of them. So when you're using RegRipper, if you're using it from the command line, you can actually execute plugins individually. But if you're using it from the GUI or if you want to use it from the command line as well, you can do it this way. You can actually specify a plugins file, which is basically a file containing, well, where the file have no extension and it'll be containing um, just a list of plugins you want to run. So for example, I've written this one. Um, and pretty much all it is, is, this is our example one for today. What it does is it specifies three plugins here, and these are the ones we want to run. Note that I do not include the Perl extension here, and I do not include the .txt extension in the actual file. Um, and what it does is it's going to run the printers, the recent docs, and the typed URLs plug, um, plugins. And those are pretty self-explanatory. One will tell you the printers on the system, the recent docs, and the typed URLs. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run this against some sample registry hives. Um, these are going to run against the NT user hive. And we'll do that both from the command line and from the GUI so you can sort of see how this works. Um, the sample registry hives I'm going to use are in this folder here. They're called sample. And they're for different operating systems. I will mention this does not come with RegRipper. However, I moved this folder into my RegRipper directory. Um, these samples are provided by the guys that wrote RegRipper. And they can be found in the same place where you download RegRipper. Um, but if you just download RegRipper, you will not get samples here. 
Uh, you may also have to download the plugin separately. Uh, and just if you do, make sure you put a plugins folder in this directory and put all your plugins in there. Um, this directory is hard coded into Red Dripper, so it ha all your plugins have to be in this folder. Okay, but enough about all that. Anyway, so if we want to say run the, um, let's start, let's start with the command line version here. So we're going to move to where I stored Red Dripper. Um, and again, you can see all the stuff we just talked about, the rip.exe and rr.exe. We're going to be using rip. So first thing we can do, obviously, is rip-h will just give us some help information. Um, you'll specify the registry hive you want to parse. And like I said, those will be the sample ones we had before. Um, and then you can either specify a specific plugin module uh, with the dash p. Um, and that's if you just want to run it against, you want, want to run one plugin. Or like I was saying before, dash f will run a plugins file, which is what I just showed you, our example file, which has, it'll run that set of plugins, that set of three plugins. Um, the other thing you can do is if you want to know what plugins you have on your machine, you can use the rip dash l, which will give you a listing of all the plugins and a little description, for example here, of um, all the plugins in the plugins directory. So whatever you're looking for, you know, um, this will give you XP edition info, just for example. Um, and that'll just give you a list of all the plugins. But anyway, so back where we were. So what we're going to do here, and I'm just going to show you as an example here, what we're looking for is rip. Well, first, we'll specify the red, um, the high file we're going to use. And we're going to use the, from our samples, we're going to use the Win7 samples. And of course, the NT user, because that's what, you specify one high file, you can't run it run these plugins against all your high files. You have to say it's the data I'm looking for is in this high file. Um, and then we'll pick that we're going to use the plugins file that I specified before. Note you will not give it the plugins directory here, um, even though it's really a subdirectory of where we are now. Um, since the plugins folder is hard coded here, you'll just specify the um, plugins file you want to run. And we'll execute that. And so that should have told us the printers, the recent docs, and the um, typed URLs in this machine in that order. So you'll see here, it's launching the printers plugin and it found that we have the XPS document writer and a fax. Not your default is this one. Um, that's not so interesting, I guess. But anyway, once you go to the recent docs, it becomes a lot cooler because you can actually see the recent files that were the recent documents that were run here and it's split up down here actually by JPEGs and PNGs and different sort of things here um, that you've checked out these JPEGs recently or the user on that machine, you know, etc. Um, zip files, folders, all those kind of things. And finally, the recent uh, typed URLs, apparently whoever was using this machine was looking into CCleaner. Um, so you can see that what I've been able to do here is pretty much pick a plugin that I want to run or pick a set of plugins and give it to Red Ripper and Red Ripper will go ahead and actually run those plugins against our registry hive to extract the useful information. Um, obviously the useful information, like we said before, will depend on your case, but obviously if, you know, uh, for whatever case you have, most likely the data that's helpful data is in the registry and you can find the plugin that will find it or you can write your own plugin and then use Red Ripper to, to um, to run it. Um, so that was that. That was the command line version. And now let me show you the GUI version. So a lot of people will probably prefer this one. Pretty simple, just a simple GUI here. Uh, specify the high file. And of course, we will have to find it here. And we're going to do on the same data here. Um, there's my high file. Now, when you use the GUI, it doesn't print it to the screen. It actually um, creates a new, let's put this on my desktop actually. Um, it creates an output report and an output log. And we're gonna put those on my desktop. And then we'll tell it which plugins file. Here you won't run an individual plugin, but you can only run uh, a complete plugin file, which is what I created before, which is a set of three plugins over there. Um, and then you'll hit rip it. And it pretty much just runs your plugins and it creates a report which may be out of your screen, but we'll move it in a little bit. It won't let me. Um, but we'll open it and same data. Users, printers, 
recently used, um, recently accessed docs and typed URLs. Um, it will also actually create a log, which is out of your screen, but just an execution log of what it did. Um, but so as you can see, very simple tool to use. Um, use it from the command line, use it from the GUI, whatever you prefer. Um, runs a set of plugins or a specific plugin. Um, and that's pretty much it. All there is to Red Ripper. Um, and you can look at the PowerPoint for some more information on Red Ripper and where to download it and those kind of things. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I hope this was beneficial. I hope you learned something. And that's it. Have a good day.